Welcome back. Our today's topic is Neoplatonism, so let's get started. Neoplatonism is a version of Platonic philosophy that emerged in the 3rd century AD against the background of Hellenistic philosophy and religion. Among the common ideas it maintains is monism, the doctrine that all of reality can be derived from a single principle, the One. Neoplatonism began with Ammonius Saccas and his student Plotinus, circa 204-5-271 AD, and stretched to the 6th century. Three distinct periods of Neoplatonism, one, the work of his student Porphyry, 3rd to early 4th century, two, that of Iamblichus, 3rd to 4th century, three, the period in the 5th and 6th centuries, when the academies in Alexandria and Athens flourished. Neoplatonism had an enduring influence on the subsequent history of Western philosophy and religion. In the Middle Ages, Neoplatonic ideas were studied and discussed by Christian, Jewish, and Muslim thinkers. In the Islamic cultural sphere, Neoplatonic texts were available in Arabic and Persian translations, and notable philosophers such as Al-Farabi, Solomon ibn Gabral, Abbasbron, Abyssena, ibn Sina, and Maimonides incorporated Neoplatonic elements into their own thinking. Christian philosopher and theologian Thomas Aquinas and the German mystic Meister Eckhart were also influenced by Neoplatonism, as they propagated a contemplative way of life which points to the Godhead beyond the nameable God. Neoplatonism also had a strong influence on the perennial philosophy of the Italian Renaissance thinkers Marsilio Ficino and Giovanni Pico della Mirandola and continues through 19th-century universalism and modern-day spirituality. Thank you for watching and please leave your valuable comments too.